Hi, this is Amanda Beck with Beck Bio. This video is on land use and develop lands. There are several different types of land use categories for develop land, which I will go over on the next several slides. The first is transportation. Examples include streets and roadways, freeways, rural highways, paved bike trails, and airport, railway, tram, subway, bus, truck, and port facilities. Residential. Examples include urban neighborhoods, rural single-family residences, mobile home parks, and multi-unit residential complexes such as apartments, townhomes, and condos. Commercial. Examples include shopping malls, centers, strips, and plazas, office and business parks, hotels, motels, and resorts, restaurants, banks, and gas stations. Institutional. Examples include city halls, post offices, schools, universities and dormitories, firehouses, hospitals, churches, libraries, prisons, and other federal, state, county, and city buildings and properties. Industrial. Examples include industrial centers, factories, and warehouses. Military. Examples include military bases, naval shipyards, armories, hangars, training fields, and residential military barracks. Mining and extraction. Examples include oil fields, quarries, mines, and gas plants. Communication and utilities. Examples include communication facilities, power substations and facilities, transmission towers and lines, and radio, signal, and cell towers. Energy production. Examples include nuclear power plants, solar fields, hydroelectric dams, and wind farms. Water treatment and waste treatment. Examples include recycling centers, landfills and junkyards, and wastewater and sewage treatment facilities. Recreation. Examples include missions and museums, golf courses, parks, playgrounds and picnic areas, stadiums, public swimming pools, sports parks, auditoriums, camping and RV parks, and zoos. Vacant lots. So parcels of land that have been disturbed or altered by human activities and that are now vacant would be under the developed lands category and not within the undeveloped lands category. Vacant lots are usually found within urban areas. Examples of vacant lots include areas that were once developed, but the structures and pavings have been entirely or partially demolished and removed. Vacant lots with vegetation management, so areas that are regularly mowed, vacant lots with little to no vegetation, vacant lots filled with non-native vegetation, and areas that have been entirely or partially cleared and prepped for future development. Included with developed plans are its associated vegetation, paved and unpaved areas, structures, infrastructures and items, and supporting lands. An example of vegetation associated with developed lands include landscaping, ornamental vegetation, lawns, gardens, and turf. So for example, a strip of ornamental trees within a residential neighborhood would be included within the developed lands category and not the undeveloped lands category. Vegetation located within development is predominantly non-native, but it can contain native plant species. This vegetation could also support wildlife species. It's important to describe the land cover and land use of your project site. The next two slides show photos of fictional project sites. For each project, I will give a developed land description that would go in your bio report. Note, your write-ups do not have to be exhaustive. They could just be a single sentence. Example one, if we look at the project site outlined in yellow on this slide, we would report the following. The project site is entirely built out and no longer supports natural plant communities. It is in a developed urban portion of the city and is surrounded by development, including residential neighborhoods, commercial complexes, and roadways. Example two, the project site is entirely vacant with compacted soils and little to no vegetation. It is in a developed urban portion of the city and is surrounded by development. 
the site is bounded to the north by foothill boulevard and liquor paradise to the east by deer creek and the deer creek channel trail to the south by single family residences and to the west by the baha'i information center and additional single family residences thanks for watching Please move on to the next video, which deals with land use in agricultural lands, specifically croplands.